20% of high school students use e-cigarettes or vape, which can harm their developing brains and bodies. And News 3's Madeline Parker spoke with Carbondale High School. They say they want to educate parents and students on those dangers. Vaping is kind of a newer trend and it's on the rise with teens. The FDA reports that among teens, the 20% of teens who vape, almost half are using e-cigarettes almost daily. And what's inside these products can be extremely harmful. Currently, we don't have a lot of regulation on what exactly is inside of a vape. So many times young people are smoking and vaping things that they don't know what they are and neither do we. So that's harmful and a problem. As these stats rise, some parents are at a loss. A lot of my friends who don't work in a health ed field ask a lot of questions and I've realized that there's a lot of things that parents don't know as things have evolved over the last decade. The Carbondale Community High School Wellness Committee decided to hold a panel to educate parents about the dangers of vapes and edible marijuana. Even though technically they are not allowed to market to youth, it is marketed to youth. I mean, we can see that in the flavors and the the gadgets that they come up with that look do they look very trendy. Um, so yes, I think it is very um, appealing and and is kind of appeals going to appeal to the youth. Um, so I think that makes it more difficult as well for for young people to make those good decisions. Part of the reason the committee is so dedicated is because vaping and edibles affect the part of the teenager's brain that isn't fully developed. The adolescent mind is set up to have addiction issues with things that have shown a high potential for addiction. And tobacco and nicotine are one of those things. The panel's purpose is to help educate parents on how to navigate these issues with their students and help bring usage numbers down. We do want young people to be the healthiest and the best version of themselves that they can be. And anytime you are putting a foreign substance that is unknown to anyone, we're not exactly sure of what it is, um, that's dangerous and we don't want that. Ann Carbondale, Madeline Parker, News 3. Now that panel is open to everyone. It's tomorrow night at 530 in Carbondale High School's auditorium.